So as expected, Dr. Ebe Damina has responded to Apostle Gideon Odoma for calling him a newcomer when it comes to the grace teaching. Now, it is good to understand that looking at Ebe Damina's response, I really wonder if he was indeed referring to the person of Apostle Gideon Odoma or maybe he was speaking in general, considering the points which Apostle Gideon Odoma raised. I heard that somebody say, I'm a new convert in the message of Christ. Hope by now that you know that in these matters is not the most important card is not age. I have been preaching the message of the cross for more than 20 years. So in that account, Damina is a newcomer. I hope you know. It, assuming he's even preaching the right thing, he's still a newcomer. He was doing Pentecostal voodoo for many, many, many years by his own admission. As at the time he was doing that thing, we were already preaching the same message of the cross. The I agree. Before Uncle, am I not a new convert? We just they start work. Then they shout. We they start work. We never even start. Then they shout. Hey, I'm a new convert. Well done, ancient of days. <laughs> but this eye go clear. They go soon break. I'm talking now. People are not hearing. They go soon break. Uh, they go soon break. Even when no one here, you go hear them. They go soon break. Oh. When people develop a reprobate heart, they don't want the truth of the gospel. They only want themselves. They are in the worship of self. They don't want to hear what is God's word saying. They don't want to be built in the accurate, precise, wholesome, who can you know, healthy word of God all they want is what I want 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 like a spoiled child and the pastor is granting them that request and they are self-deceived into the worship of self and they built a humongous monster of selfishness it will be hard for such people to know God it will be hard very hard for such people to know God because Christianity begins with death to self true Christianity begins with death to self it's no longer I that lives but Christ who lives in me the life that I now live in the flesh I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me so I am out of the equation when Christ who is our life shall appear we shall appear with him in glory if you then be risen with christ seek those things which are above where christ is seated at the right hand of god i am dead my life is healed with christ in god so my pursuits are the things that god wants not the things that i want I'm teaching good tonight self so prophet Isaiah is describing a heart that is turned away from the knowledge of God to things every time you come to church they promise you things that God never promised false hope self I mean false hope looking at what people perceive the response that damina gave to the person of apostle gideon you will discover it didn't actually address some of the concern apostle gideon raised okay he only just made mention what was said of him in passing by okay and because if you are to listen carefully to the concern which gideon raised his concern we are in twofold first of all is that the teachings of a damina burdens around an aspect of aspect of christian's journey with god which is our, our faith towards god which ordinary should be a starting point and not we camping on that on the basis is supposed to be the simplest foundation of our christianity there are other mature things that one should move into okay now i just like I will always say, one of the things that has made Damina kind of stand out is the fact that he is calling out the transactional gospel. 
okay so those who know apostle gideon knows he's not in the class of those who are into who are given into transactional gospel but, all right so i still want us to listen once again the concerns of apostle gideon and what led to him making that statement this is not like a derogatory statement it's just only stating the statement of facts okay so let's listen once again to what apostle gideon said these are the simplest this is the thing that everybody when you become a christian these are the things these were the foundations that were this was the foundation that were laid this is the foundation that was laid for you as a new convert and they said we can't we can't stay at the foundation forever hear me and hear me very well there is a move and that move is the move that tries to totalize our christian experience into one of the principles of the doctrine of our faith and it is a principle of faith toward god now faith toward god is being made into a system because the word faith is a word that has such elasticity in christian thinking okay so have faith in god as belief or somebody can say since i came to the faith you see that i've used the word faith in two very different ways there is a sense in which faith refers to the system of grace you are saved by grace through faith that the new testament is a testament that is predicated principally on faith if you want to draw that distinction so that the distinction between the law and grace is also a distinction that is often drawn between the works and faith you cannot be saved by works but you are saved by faith it's not of works lest any man should boast there is a way that this is smuggled in to mean that because the entirety of the christian faith can be branded can be called by the word faith there is now word of faith movement that is a form of teaching and there is a variant of it that deals with a very different emphasis and that variant is faith toward god and the implications of it toward god the, that system is called the system of grace when the bible says you are saved by grace through faith it is a gift of god not a works less any man should boast so that some persons have decided to totalize the entirety of the gospel into what you may call grace teaching or faith teaching this thing that i'm talking about in terms of faith toward god is generally what people call grace teaching and that is what undergirds hyper grace what we call hyper grace teaching one of the problem of the hyper grace apart from all the other things that are wrong doctrinally with their teaching is the fact that they seek to totalize the entirety of christianity to the teaching of what they call new creation realities faith towards god remember however that faith toward god first and foremost is the other side of the coin that might be called that the other side is called what repentance from what from dead works repentance from dead work precedes faith toward god on the list when you totalize the entire message into faith towards god the hearing of faith not the works of the law there are a lot of subtle dangers with that and that's why we are doing this series huh there are a lot of subtle dangers with that number one is to say that this subject matter actually belongs in the things that are foundation that we are supposed to live once it's been established so that we can move on are you there so that we can move on to maturity then you build an entire ministry around it let's assume that that is okay assuming that that's the only thing that you know how to teach it's not a problem to be a nursery school teacher the problem is that you are insisting that nobody should graduate from nursery school are you there so there's a way that this thing works the way this thing works is that there's a journey we are supposed to be making and everything the entire items on this list six of them they are part of what we learn at one level at the primary level at the elementary level the infantile level that is milk and the Bible does not say we must stop there. He said we should move on. There is strong meat that we should move on to. The trouble is for the hyper grace camp 
all right the idea is they have turned where to start into where to camp that is with regards to what is even true in what they say because many of the things they say are not even accurate but with regards to the one that is even accurate the trouble still is that they want you to camp where you were supposed to start faith toward god is part of the elementary that's where we start not where we camp 